The purpose of today's visit, Your Excellency, is twofold, basically. It is an advocacy visit, and secondly, a visit that calls for urgent intervention from the Senate President. Nigeria is in a state of siege today. Yes, you have the insurgency and the banditry and kidnapping. But if you went to Ogoni land and spoke to somebody about insurgency, he may not be very concerned. If you go to some other parts of the country and speak of kidnapping in some areas, it's not a major concern. If you go to some other areas and speak of banditry, it may not be of major concern. But when you enter the realm of drugs, drug abuse, every part of Nigeria, you can for sure say that everybody in this room knows somebody or a neighbor or a family that has affliction with drug abuse. The drug abuse code is actually the number one problem we are facing. It's always our kids, women, our youths, the family system. And secondly, it is behind the criminalities, which is everywhere now. Every day on the news and the newspapers, you read of one criminality or the other. You have to be crazy or half crazy to commit some of these criminalities. And what fuels it is drug use. Even the insurgency itself, they take drugs. The bandits, they take drugs before they go into the activities. And throughout military history, we know that drugs have been used actually as a tool. At the outbreak of World War II, the three-week campaign by Hitler over Poland, how did they achieve it in three weeks to bring an entire country? They gave them drugs, actually. It was issued formally, and the troops broke into Poland for three days, no sleeping, because they were already drugs. And this is the same thing that is happening in the country. These criminalities will not end so quickly until we face the underlying nexus between it and drugs. Unfortunately, to this point, the drug situation is not properly factored into the security architecture. We look at the other segments but forget that this is the causative area that needs to be equally attended to. Your Excellency, there are two aspects of the drug war the drug reduction in supply and the drug reduction in demand. The supply reduction facet is the area where the NDLEA faces, interrupts and destroys the cultivation, manufacture, processing, marketing, selling, importing, exporting, and use of drugs. And the demand reduction side, which must be viewed equally, and which is perhaps more challenging than the other one, is where we have to face the prevention of drug use from the multitude that are not yet taking drugs, 
and to treat those who already are addicted. Let me officially and formally congratulate you for your appointment as Director General and commend Mr. President for appointing you because this appointment to borrow the words of one of our colleagues is um, around there in around war. You are fit, you are proper, you are qualified, you are tested and we can trust you for this job. When you say you want to partner with the National Assembly, you want us to join the train of the fight against drug trafficking and addiction, you are preaching to the combatant. The National Assembly members almost on a daily interaction with our constituents and we know the very debilitating impact of drug abuse in our various communities and you are rightly say that almost every community in this country suffers from drug addiction so we are very mindful of what is happening and this agency thank you have you corrected your chairman not busy your chairman corrected me so please i beg your pardon it's chairman i believe that this agency needs the structure now that we are taking over, we should go the whole walk to restructure the entire agency, not piece meal uh, torches, because we need to get it right. My personal opinion is NDAA should be in the league of EFCC, ICPC, that kind of thing. And therefore, the kind of support that those two agencies I mentioned receive, you should receive something like that. In addition to many other things that you should be supported with. So the National Assembly will definitely work with you, will partner with you, and will ensure that we do our best to give you the kind of support that will enable you properly to discharge your mandate. Having said this, let me say that Nigeria as a nation, as a country, is in one way or the other a transit route for drugs. Drug peddlers have their drugs through Nigeria, cannabis, heroin, and possibly even cocaine. I think about some weeks ago we saw the, was it the NDA <coughs> arresting someone with cocaine? We believe that this has to stop because the process of such Activities fund terrorism, they fund banditry. You wonder how the bandits would have RPGs and the ma this massive arms that they have. How? Definitely, these are acquisitions provided by some people, some barons, not the, the bandits themselves. So we need to ensure that this transit role that Nigeria plays is addressed properly. And here, 
will have to approach this through multi sectoral efforts. The customs, the immigration service, our security agencies, and in fact, FAAM, the Federal Air Force Authority of Nigeria. We have to involve it we have to involve all segments of the society. From the family itself. You know this is where you spend most of your time, the child. Followed by the school system. And we already have said and it is already in process in the Ministry of Education, the curriculum. From primary we have to start teaching no to drugs. We have to start teaching the children because it is widespread. And I've said it is coming. It's coming. We are going to start doing integrity drug tests across the wide spectrum of Nigeria. The details will come out soon. I only mentioned the tip of the iceberg, okay. which is the school system. Okay. But you are going to get more details after that. Right. The traditional institution, religious, government, National Assembly, where we all are, journalists, your good selves, everybody in Nigeria must stand up and join hands and fight drug abuse. My name is Dr. Christabel Regan Okoye. I am the recently appointed Executive Secretary of NADROM. NADROM is National Association of Nigerian Drug Monitoring. Yeah, it's a round peg and a round hole. Um, it, it's very timely, very, very timely. We've been expecting that before now. As you know, um, General Marua is um, He's a developmental agent. He's a kind of person that when he handles a situ uh, an institution or a state, you will see the difference within a shortest time. Uh, so his visit today has really um, spurred me and other people into working better in this uh, drug abuse and trafficking in Nigeria. I've been doing so many things, especially now that I've been empowered with this position of Executive Secretary of Nandrum. Uh, now we have organized meeting of all the chairman of drug markets and um, NAPMED. We are now talking to them and we have been able to inaugurate 12th uh, man committee from state to state that will be attached to the commissioners of police that will monitor the drugs around them, the influx of drugs and um, uh, trafficking of drugs in their various states and then report back when they make the seizure they report it to CP, uh, CP Commissioner of Police who then take them to NAVDAC so the, 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 the fight against drug abuse and trafficking has just begun in Nigeria. Yeah, already I'm working with Joint Committee on um, on, this, uh, on the Senate and the House of Representatives as an ambassador. So um, in all their programs, I make sure I put in something. Like um, before now, I've already known that um, he will be here and uh, we, we were able to make sure that the whole movement worked out successfully, covering about three states again. I am sure that before July, we'll have covered the 36 states.